Hi family, checking in. I uh, just been having a pretty, actually a pretty amazing week. You know, it's just kind of one of those things where you get to count your trials as blessings this week. And so I sold something, the lady, anyway, the big old thing, hours along with this customer and I ended up losing $40 and not even shipping the product. It was a mess. Um, and I was totally devastated. Like it would have destroyed me. Um, but you know, the Lord stepped in and there was a sister who had donated, um, some stuff to me. Some of it was some rings and I sold one ring and I made up exactly what I would have lost. And I'm like, well, what I did lose. And I was like, yeah, you thank you, Lord. And it was all just like it had happened a couple of weeks before that I'd received it. And just right when I needed it, the Lord stepped in and was like, hey, remember those blessings I gave you? Well, now this is when you need them. So this is when you're getting them. He's so good like that, you know? So I'm kind of, I'm just like, I don't really care about the money so much as I just love it when I, I love watching the Lord and what he does and just he's always there I just it loves the reassurance that sometimes our trials offer us that the Lord cares and he's watching over you and he's in charge and no matter what comes your way is he's got it and so I'm just I was thinking about that um today to show you that little experience but then actually I'm going to go meet with her again because she has some more stuff for me to put in the store which is amazing because that whole thing happened so there's no profit that I have in this weekend so I needed to be keep listing and I'm like oh no I can't list anything and um so anyway so it was it's but it's all working out see the Lord just stepped up one more time and what a blessing um and then you guys hear about the the doomsday clock how exciting. <laughs> well, okay, so correct me if I'm wrong, but it's the same people who are warning us that this is how close we are to destruction. They're the same people who are planning it. So it's, it's very much like this is what we're doing and this is how much time we have left. And we don't know how long 90 seconds is on the doomsday clock because it's been around since what? After World War II? And it started at like two minutes, I think. Two minutes, 25 seconds. I could be way off. Please don't take that as fact. Just, I did see that it started back around then. And it started out with a lot more minutes than it has now. And then they've been slowly moving it up. And, you know, that's just them telling us their plan. But we don't care because we read Jesus' plan. And that's where it's all at, right? So when we see their plans unfolding and we see the Bible telling us that they were planning this and we, so we already know. We already know what happened. We know how it ends. We know where we're going. And it's just like every single piece is falling into place. And it's just the, the, it's terrible to see the tragedies though that are unfolding in this time of lawlessness. And just nobody, <laughs> nobody's united. And it's just terrible. The people who, who are not who want to be on the side of right, but they're not, not with Jesus. And they can't be on the side of right without with Jesus. Then they're just focused on worldly things. Even if they have a conservative view, that means, you know, so it's just like, there's no point of doing any of it if we don't have Jesus. And we know, cause we're going home so, so soon. And none of this stuff is gonna matter. None of it, not the stuff going on in your personal life, no matter how bad it is. And trust me, he, just like I told you before the story. So he is going to watch out for you. You just, you know, I saw a meme today. Uh, uh, better watch out. I have a mustard seed and I know how to use it. And I'm like, yes, that's right. You know, that's how we do it. We just, we have our mustard seed and he's going to take care of us till we go. But he has ultimately, in the grand scheme of things, anything that you go through now, in this life, no matter how bad it is, even if it's being sick for 20 something years in bed, boohoo, right? All those things, the loss of children, the loss of life, you know, of people you were close to, uh, the loss of friends, family, all of that stuff is terrible and is painful, but it's not gonna matter. It's gonna be like a sliver compared to the wonderful eternity that you're going to experience. And whereas we see the doomsday clock come down, as we see the Bible prophecy, I mean, and we see everything happening in Israel and just terrible what happened with the shooting. 
Um, and we see, but we see the unrest. And, you know, it's just when they're going to, so it's just like everything is falling into place. And we are getting so much closer to none of this ever mattering again. To it not having to worry about anything. Not money, not relationships, none of it. It's all going to be taken care of. And you're going to have the best day of your life every single day for eternity. And it's going to be awesome. And, you know, and it's just like, this is temporary. No matter what we're going through, the Lord's going to help us get through it while we're in it. So we just need to sometimes just lay things on the altar, right? We just need to give the Lord some things that, that are really ours to carry, that we're carrying. And it's just not even necessary that we're carrying the things, the load that we're carrying. It's not ours. And we don't have to. So it just, sometimes you just got to give it to him. And sometimes you got to give him some sacrifices. Right? Like, Lord, I sacrifice my pride completely. I kill it and I give it to you. Lord, I, you know, just things like that. And just, I just think that's so important. Um, and just get rid of anything that's not yours. If you have a resentment, even mildly, forgive it immediately. Because it builds up and causes distress in your soul. And it's just not good. And just trying to keep in the word and keep in the in the armor of God. And we are going home soon. That's all we got to do is just keep in the word and keep in the armor of God. And then the rest, he's going to take care of it. He is. He's watching over you. He hears your consistent prayers. He, shows your, he hears your perseverant prayers. You know, he's got you. He loves you. He chose you. That's right. He chose you. There's your pet for the day. He chose you. You didn't choose him first. He lo you can't loved him because he loved you first. You are his. And he has called you. And he has gone out of far and wide to look for his lost sheep. And that was you. And you are his. So that's what we have to hold on to. We are taking care of. We are his. And there's nothing, nothing more greater in life that you can hold on to. Your greatest treasure is being a child of God. That's it. That's the most beautiful thing. Everything else is just a vapor. A useless thing. And so that's just what I want to encourage with you today. Doomsday clock is ticking up, which is really good news for us. Um, anyway, and just... Oh, and especially since, like, I just want to point out that they put some issues on there that are causing... They're really much just... They're caused by themselves. And even they said, these are man-made... These are man-made problems. Uh, they absolutely are. You know, there's a w quick way to do... Th to fix it. It's just stop doing that. <laughs> it's that simple. But that's not going to happen. We know that. But that doesn't matter because we're going home. So let's pray. Oh, thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you for filling our souls and rejuvenating our hearts, Lord, and just taking us when we're broken pieces and just putting us together again, Lord, with the supernatural healing of your love. Lord, your, your love for us is healing in every way. It just, it heals our spirit and our souls and it just makes us want to be more like you and just follow you closer and live in your light, Lord, because we love your light. It's all we cherish in this world. We don't care about anything else. We know bad things are going to happen and they happen all the time and it's really awful, Lord. And it's not even a little bit fun what we're going through, but we know that you know this and you hear our prayers and you love us enough to answer them and you have a plan and you have a will and you're going to make sure it happens because you're God. You're our God. We love you and we worship you. And you know our hearts and you know our very, our, what, you made room for us to mess up. <laughs> you knew us and you chose us anyway. Lord, we just love you for that. We just, we don't deserve to be chosen by you, Lord. You just chose us because you love us. Lord, it's unfathomable sometimes what you, how much you love us. And it's hard to grasp. And, and just sometimes we get scared and focus on the here and the now and the stressing about the, the what ifs, Lord. But there is not a what if. There's a guarantee. There's a guarantee that you said you would watch over us no matter what comes our way. And that's the guarantee that we're going to hold on to today, Lord, as we just stand in the armor of, well, the armor of you. <laughs> Lord, I just, I love you so much. And I just, I say this in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Alright you guys, I love you too. I'll see you in the next one or in the clouds.